Hello everyone, I am Nikhil and I have made a short video on the operational amplifiers. Uh, the topics which we will be seeing here are first uh, the op amp or the representation of the op amp. Next is the open and the closed loop configuration. After that we will see a short explanation or a trick which will be very useful in solving problems based on the op amp. After that we have the concept of virtual short and virtual ground. Now this is how an op amp looks like while we are representing it. So this is uh, these two terminals. Uh, they are basically the power input terminals. That is the plus VCC and minus VE. Uh, now this is the non-inverting terminal or the V plus terminal. This one is the inverting terminal or the V minus terminal. And the last terminal, it is the output terminal of the op amp. Many times the minus V and the plus V terminals they get interchanged however the functionality remains the same. Now let us see the open loop configuration of the op amp. Now as open loop suggests there is no loop in this diagram. So uh, here we have given two inputs at the non-inverting and the inverting terminals of the op amp. Now basically the operational amplifier is a differential amplifier. It works as a differential amplifier when in open loop configuration. However, the open loop gain of the op amp is huge and so as a result even a small difference between the two inputs may result as a huge quantity at the output. However, the power input which we provide to the op amp at the plus VCC and minus VE it is not that high. It is generally plus 15 minus 15 volts. As a result when the output it is supposed to be positive at that time it is saturated at plus V and otherwise at minus V. So, so basically the op amp acts as a comparator in open loop configuration. We will see more of this later. Next is the closed loop configuration of the op amp. Observe this diagram carefully. What we have done is provided a feedback from the output to the non-inverting or the positive terminal of the op amp. As you observe there is a loop pro seen here and as a result this is the closed loop configuration and because the feedback is provided to the positive input it is the positive feedback arrangement. In the same way when we provide input to the negative input of the terminal then it is the negative feedback. Now this is a short trick which I was going to explain. Uh, it is not actually a trick it is a technique which we will be using. So there are two main important things which we have to remember. First of all the input resistance of the op amp is ideally it should be infinity or otherwise it is very high and as a result there will be no current flowing inside from the input terminals or outside. There is no current flow in the in, at the input terminals either no, non-inverting or the inverting terminal. And the next thing which we have to remember is that they are internally connected and as a result these two terminals will majorly have the same potential that is the potential which we apply at the positive terminal or the non-inverting terminal it will be reflected or followed by the inverting or the negative terminal this uh, this is observed in a uh, feedback arrangements only so this will be very useful while we are solving problems now let us observe the concept of the virtual shot have a look at this diagram what we have done is we have provided v1 and v2 as two voltages at the non-inverting and the inverting terminals so the as we saw in the earlier side that the inverting terminal will follow the voltage of the non-inverting terminal that is va will be equal to vb and as a result these two will appear to be shorted However, there will be no current exchange or current flow between these terminals and thus it is not an actual shot, a virtual shot. It's a virtual shot. The same way in uh, this arrangement, we see the op amp and we have grounded the positive or the non-inverting terminal. Since this is grounded, the inverting terminal, it will also follow the potential and it will also be at ground potential. That is, it will follow the ground. Again, there will be no current flowing in this direction or in the input and thus it is not an actual ground but a virtual ground. Thank you everyone. Uh, this is my first video. So please do leave your comments and uh, like and share my video if you like it. Uh, if there are any mistakes or if you want to suggest any improvements, uh, please email me. I have uh, mentioned it in the description. Thank you.